leaning on dirt bike territory, you know, I know, but it's not quite there, you know, it's not a Suron by any means. Hey guys, what's up? So today I want to do um, about a two and a half week review of the Aerial Rider Kepler. It is freaking bad A, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Huge, gorgeous, I love it so far. Like I've had zero problems with this thing so far. Super easy to put together, front tire, fender, and you just snug up the handlebars and get them set how you like it, that's it. I think unboxing it was harder than uh, putting it together. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, um, so was I gonna go over um, stretch, man? Um, let me get an angle. All right, let me show you. Once you're on, you're good though, for sure. But yeah, she a big girl. So it's not too bad to get on. I mean, honestly, I wish I would've got the step through because if uh, you look on their website, their frame is an inch shorter and then you do have a little bit of space to get your foot through. Um, yeah. So other than that, wish I would've got the step through just so it was a little easier to get in. I mean, I get used to it and then hopping off. Now when I'm like riding it, I'll just get my feet off and before I even stop. But uh, yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> and then uh, make sure you check your tire pressure as soon as you get it because mine came at 30 psi which was rock hard and this thing being um, um, a hard tail you feel every bump like like it was killer on my back so I did have to get this and then I lowered the tire pressure to 20 psi and then I've been doing a lot of research on that and I will be riding it this winter so, instead of 20 PSI, I'm probably going to run them around 7. I see a lot of guys running them at 5, but I'm not really taking it in the woods. I'm just commuting with it. So, I'm going about 6 miles every day um, to work. And uh, up hills, lots of steep hills. I'm going to get a camera mount so I can show you my ride to work. So, you can see what kind of hills this thing can climb. Because this thing can climb some super dope ass hills all by itself at 20 miles an hour <clears throat> uh, another thing I can't figure out is um, oh let me walk you to this so there's a code I couldn't figure out the code there's one way <laughs> one guy finally had the code uh, so what is it it's one enter down nine one enter down nine enter Okay, so now we got all this stuff. Try to focus. Focus, bro. There we go. Okay. Um, so controller parameters, if you hit that, um, that's how I just changed it to 99. And it gets me to 32, but I didn't up the amperage. So I'm sure if I up the amperage, it would get me to 35. But, you know, which is like, I think their max they state. Um, but the controller is only 35 amp hour, so I mean I'm happy with 30 miles an hour, so you know Yeah, that works for me. <laughs> so I'm good there, but um It's got walk assist is on. I don't know how to do that. I think you hold the up button or something like that uh, It did come with a manual, but the manual doesn't really cover everything which is kind of lame um, Getting out of focus uh, I will try and post a video on uh, changing, what is it, you know, um, so max assist level 3, I changed it down to 3, but I can't figure out how to change the assist level, like, cause like when you pedal, this thing will just start going, like, <laughs> it will just start, it'll go, like, it's, the faster you pedal, the faster you go, and, you know, so, I don't know, I, I want the pedal assist to, um, be a little weaker because you know I'm not a weak guy so you know I can pedal you know I at least want to do half the work sometimes you know sometimes I don't want to just be pedaling and because like I'll pedal and then I'll have to stop pedaling because it'll be going real fast and then I'll pedal a little bit and I'll stop pedaling <clears throat> so I need to figure out how to change that 
So I will definitely upload a video about that when I figure that out. Um, oh yeah, check this out. So this is a newer model, right? Just came out. Uh, I gotta turn it on. Um, so yeah, you know it's got the headlight. That's cool. On off button, but check this out. It's got blinkers. Look at that! It's got a blinker! That's so sick! I can't focus! <laughs> so that's cool. So we're street legal, baby. What? Street legal? What? Oh, yeah. And then uh, I love the, the drivetrain and the drive system. <clears throat> it is so awesome. Uh, so all aluminum right here. Super cool. And then check out this big ass sprocket here super awesome so you can like pedal this thing 30 miles an hour and it goes down really low so it's super easy to pedal without any electricity whatsoever so you can definitely ride this with no electricity just keep your gears low and pedal you're good you speed up a little bit more change that gear up oh yeah it's super sweet i mean you know how to ride a bike and this thing rides it, it you know you can ride this bike super easy so yeah even if your your battery dies or your battery explodes you're still riding this bad boy home no problem carry a pump you can jack up the pressure make it even easier to drive you know yeah uh what else to say about it the battery i think um i try to get it down to 30 percent because i did a lot of research on lithium ion batteries so i only drain it down to 30 percent and i try to only charge it to 90 percent just because then i'll get an extra few thousand charges if you're not worried about buying another 600 dollars battery don't even worry about it fully charge it just charge it but doing that i average what um so what is that 12 so like 24 miles so i'll get like 24 miles out of it and like i said i got lots of steep hills and everything so that's not bad <laughs> and then like i said if you fully charge it and fully discharge it because like i've i've had it came at 100 percent so like when it's at 100 percent, you can definitely get the advertised uh what is it, like 35 40 miles just you know gunning it yeah and then i noticed gunning it at like 30 miles an hour will use your battery a little faster so <laughs> if you keep it around 20 25 you'll be all right on battery you're getting where you're going that's for sure <laughs> um so this thing is it's you know it's it's leaning on dirt bike territory you know i know but it's not quite there you know it's not a suron by any means but you know it's it's like it's in between a suron and i don't know there's not this is it this is it this is the in between <laughs> if you want a daily commuter but you don't want a suron for two thousand bucks i mean less than two thousand bucks i think this thing was like 1800 bucks something like that for price to performance, I believe this is the best one on the market for price to performance. So if you're looking for that middle ground price to performance, and uh, you're a shopper like that buying a PC price to performance, this is it. This is your PC. <laughs> you know? And I have no no qualms with it whatsoever. Like, other than it being too tall. That's it. That's it, man. It's just, I mean, it's not too tall either. It's just gotta get used to it you know i wish it was an inch shorter just you know to make it more comfortable get your leg over because it's easy to ride it's it's everything's good it's easy to steer it's not big and unwieldy just hard to get on it <laughs> you know? i gotta stretch you know so yeah um i don't have anything else to say on that right now um other than if you're gonna buy one of these just you're gonna love it you're gonna love it that's all i have to say i mean there's there's nothing wrong with this thing i mean if you're if you're six foot it's gonna work um like i said i wish because i'm getting my wife one we're gonna get her the step through and then i'm probably gonna get one for backup or parts or something so that'll probably be this one and i'm probably gonna get me another one same exact color but a step through because <clears throat> i love the hell of it i love it i don't need any more power i don't need to go any faster this is good <laughs> um yeah so enjoy i hope you liked the video i don't know if you guys want some like close-up staring at it kind of action you know it's got the hydraulic disc brakes like i said price to performance man hydraulic disc brakes everything comes with the shimano we know that great screen um huge ass battery 20 amp hour battery i mean come on now 52 volt 20 amp hour that's like the, this is the, the biggest one of the biggest batteries they make for e-bikes right now and then you get the what is it a thousand watt hub motor sheesh 
This thing's crazy. Like, price to performance right there. You can't find a better deal. Aerialrider.com. Go there right now. If you want this bike, buy this bike. I'm telling you, pull the trigger. You'll love it. You'll thank me later. All right, upload a video. Say, thank you, bro. I bought this bike because you said it was awesome and you're totally right. <laughs> All right, guys, peace.